All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we are looking at a new Gradle card. Yes, a Gradle's the archetype that barely had any types that was uh, kind of, I wouldn't say cute with their mechanic, but their smash down mechanic, because it's kind of ugh, like, ugh, no, don't take my monster. Please don't. But uh, uh, they didn't get much support. They kind of, they came out in the same set as Magic Specters, and it's just kind of like, yay, we target, and everything is like, yeah, don't touch my ships, you know? <laughs> so... Uh, pretty much, Gradles kind of went nowhere, you know. Uh, I tried them on a Vime and Y for a little while, combined with Evelback, but I ended up just stopped playing it because it was kind of boring. I didn't like Gradles. They're kind of slow, they're kind of interactive. I really wanted to do some swine play so I can go ahead and synchro summon, but uh, this deck had a hard time really doing that mechanic, you know. It's just slime is the only tuner, and, you know. But now we, we got a new slime. We got we got, we got this little uh, uh, Gradle Slime Jr. I mean, he's cute he's cute in the ugly way you know like he has qualities that make him cute like the big eyes but i mean he's still a weird gelatinous alien thing so eh. but uh he is also a tuner and of course gradle slime jr related to gradle slime uh so hopefully this card will allow that deck to synchro something because i think all the times that i've actually seen an actual gradle deck we played it's generally with gradle kaiju but gradle decks we played i don't think that i ever see them synchro summon and that synchro monster that i mean that that monster is not bad if you can bust him out he's pretty power but i just i mean you gotta use slime and i don't see people generally using slime or i never see slime but don't see any synchro summons and it kind of sucks because i would generally like to see gradles do some more synchro summoning since they are uh you know a, a deck with their own synchro monster i mean come on we see decks that don't even have their own synchro monster synchro summon more than gradles i mean just look at like infernoids you know so uh all right now since that spiels out of the way let's go ahead and look at gradles on junior so gradles on junior is a water aqua tuner effect monster so he is a tuner uh, level 2, uh, 0 attack, but 2,000 defense, so as you can clearly see, the little scrawny little arms ain't nothing, but that big old gelatinous cocoon egg of a butt, there, that's the 2,000 defense right there. So, I don't know, I might be able to survive a nice battle or two, so that's not terrible. Alright, let's go ahead and look at this effect. Alright, when this card is normal summon, you can target one greater monster in your graveyard. You cannot special summon monsters uh, other than water monsters set. Cannot special summon monsters for rest of turn except one monsters. Also special summon that target. Uh, then you can special summon one aqua monster with the same level from your hand. Okay, so it pretty much uh, busts out your two monsters that you're gonna use to synchro summon into your. I believe that the, their uh, their boss monster, that synchro monster, is the only uh, uh, aqua type monster that I can think of, or water type uh, synchro monster like that. So uh, that's interesting. So. I, I kind of don't like that you, you're summoning the, the, the Gradle from your hand, but because uh, you're kind of, you know, using stuff from your resource that you could use possibly for later. But the whole fact that you just normal summon this, this will go ahead and summon you a Gradle from your graveyard, then you can summon a Gradle from your hand, and then that's three. They're all the Gradle monsters, except for Slime, are three. So three plus three plus two, of course, is eight, and then there you go. There's your boss monster. That's interesting. Uh, you can only summon water monsters during the turn that you do this, but that, I mean, that's totally fine. Uh, a kind of cute play that you could do is if you could bust out like a level four, uh, or you already have like a level four on the field, depending on what you see, you know, splash the gradles with or whatever. You can go ahead and summon this. This will go ahead and summon the level three uh, uh, aqua monster from your graveyard. Uh, of course, you do not have to special summon from the hand, that is optional. So don't. You already have a level four. What's two plus three plus four? Is that nine? Is that Trish? And of course, you can't summon monsters to cover water monsters during the turn. But in this effect, Trish is water. There you go. So, yeah, if you got a level four, you can go Insta Fusion uh, for like Northern or something or whatever. You know, you can definitely bust out Trish. So that's pretty powerful. It really is. Uh, so, this card just being a one card kind of a. Uh, a synchro, I kind of like that, that it gets your synchro play set up by yourself. Similar to Gradle Slime, but, you know, with Gradle Slime being like level 5, kind of uh, difficult to, you know, put in the deck. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. Uh, it also has another effect that when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Right? Not, no, not, no, no. What? Is that destroyed by battle or by card effect or something along? No, just by battle. It's interesting, you know, Konami's been doing a lot that lately, just when this card is destroyed by battle or by, card or by your opponent's card effect. But nope, only by battle. 
You can go ahead and special summon one Gradle monster from your deck. So it's pretty decent as well. You can summon any Gradle monster, including Slime if you're running Slime, not just Slime Junior. So uh, you can also float on top of this. So you, you know, this will be destroyed. Summon another Gradle Slime Junior. That'd be destroyed. Summon another Gradle Slime Junior. That'd be destroyed. Summon another Gradle. So it's kind of you don't see these kind of. Uh, uh, Recruiter-esque monsters in this this age of Yu-Gi-Oh anymore, but I mean it's not so effective to step on there with the 2,000 booty. You might be able to defend yourself and uh, you know go ahead and keep going and recruiting for a little while before you run out of Gradle Slime Juniors. Or you just go straight to your Gradle monster and if they kill it, I mean go ahead and snatch them up as long as they can be targeted, right? So overall, I like it. I, I actually really like this card. I like that the tutoring really helps. It really does because uh, if I was still playing Gradles myself, I would definitely throw maybe like two of these in my deck just so I can go ahead and actually access my Synchro Monster because God for sake I would love for Gradles to actually do something more than just try to snatch on my monsters all the goddamn time. They're only strong as the monsters after taking. But with that Synchro Monster, I mean they really got some bite. I mean that guy is three thousand. That's pretty powerful. The effect is good too. So uh yeah, go ahead, summon this, take a mon uh Gradle Monster from the graveyard, turn a Gradle Monster from my hand, and there it is, people. So overall not bad, not bad. So, uh, you know, the rumors are still true that, you know, all these uh, archetypes, like they said, like Gradles and Ignites and the Rome Mages, that, that they were all going to get support. Uh, support. And uh, I believe they said Red Eyes, which uh, we'll be reviewing the new Red Eyes card on Wednesday. And I heard something about Klee's, too, you know. I, I used to be a Klee player, so I would like to go ahead and see what Klee's get, you know. Maybe something to make up for the fact that Scout is at one. I don't know. We'll find out. So... Uh, tell me what you guys think about Gradle Slime Jr. in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see so you guys on Wednesday. We'll be looking at, uh, what is it called? Red Eyes. Red Eyes. I want to say Red Eyes Ignite, but no, it's Red Eyes Insight. All right. Uh, all right, people. Thanks for watching.